All right, YouTube, today I'm going to walk you through the installation of a Honeywell thermostat that has the Wi-Fi capabilities on it. So you can hook it in your home network and you can use the app on your phone to control the temperature from wherever. It makes things a lot more convenient. Um, this is the new piece here, the Wi-Fi deal. Um, and there it is, the RTH 8500 is the one that I'm using. Uh, and it's going to be replacing a Honeywell unit that I have up here right now. This is not Wi-Fi, of course, no app. Uh, first thing you want to do is you can just, if you've never taken this off, this dial just comes off and this is run by batteries. So the, if you're doing this upgrade and the first thing you see is a three pack of batteries there, um, know that you're going to have to run, most likely, another wire to uh, power your Wi-Fi enabled Honeywell device. And I'll show you. So here is the old um, wall plate. Here's the new one, and it says will not operate without wire to C. So the C wire, for those of you that don't know, you can see here, this one is not wired up. There's nothing on the C wire here. Uh, the C wire gets, it, it is a power wire from the heater itself, from the furnace, and it will power up um, this new thermostat so that you don't have to run batteries in it. So. If you have a newer home, this one was built in 2008, uh, you might get lucky. And you see here there's a green wire behind all of these. Okay, there you can see this green wire that is not hooked to anything, but yet it's conveniently run through the wall. So hopefully you have the same situation. Um, and at the other end of this on the furnace, we're going to have the same green wire not hooked to anything, and we're going to hook it to the C terminal up there and uh, get some power run down here for our new thermostat. So that's what I'll show you next. Now, if you don't have an existing wire in the wall, there's a couple different ways to do this. None of them are easy or quick. Uh, but one is you could take all these wires loose and you could basically use the existing cable in the wall here as a, as a fish cable for a new one. And you could run a new uh, tie on a new cable onto the end of this and then pull the whole thing through the wall uh, you could pull your new cable in that way and you could wire it up that kind of way, but uh, I'm not going to do that. So if you have to do that, uh, and there's some other ways too, you can get an additional power source and plug it in. It'll provide, you know, you probably have to snake or wire around your door frames or whatever to here, but uh, that would be preferable to me to running a whole new cable through the wall. The next thing you might be wondering is, you know, where's my furnace? Uh, for those of you that are thinking it's the the big units outside your home, you're wrong. Uh, those are your uh, AC condensers, I believe. And those are not your furnace. Uh, that's part of the air conditioning system to keep it cool. Here, this is our master um, closet, master bedroom closet, right? It's all my wife's Zumba crap. Up here in our house, this is where you get access to the attic. It's the only spot in this house where you get access. If you don't know where your access panel is, uh, you're going to have to look around your home. It could be in a a bedroom, a hallway, uh, you know, another closet, but look for, you know, a square cut out like so, and you have to bring your ladder in, and then there's going to be a panel. I guess I should have showed that. This panel here should just lift up and out. Okay, so this is what it looks like panel on there you know and if it's done nice you probably never even notice there was a panel there uh, and it should just push up and out of the way just like so now it is possible that if you have a new home and no one has ever accessed this panel before it's stuck down uh, some people call that a seal it's not a seal it's just well it, it's just because the paint is sticking everything together just run around the edges with a uh, screwdriver or a pocket knife and just push it up. It'll go up and you get access to the air handlers slash furnaces. Uh, my house has two of them. I'll get up here in a second and we'll, we'll get to work. And be careful getting up here, you know. I've got a, I think a six foot step ladder there and it's a, kind of a leap of faith to get up here. So anyway, dirty, 
don't be alarmed. So here's one furnace. There's the other furnace. Um, I, I only have one of these new Wi-Fi thermostats because it's the one upstairs that really bugs us at night. It's too cold, it's too hot, whatever. So we just want to, you know, it's a first world thing. We want to be able to control the temperature from our phone. Okay, so there are, you know, a billion different kinds of furnaces around. Yours may or may not be the same as mine. It may not be mur uh, murdered, mounted horizontally, uh, whatever it is. You're going to look for an access panel here, all right? This one, because you can see right through it. I, I can see there's no wires in there. Don't dork around with that one with the vents in it, but look for this one. Uh, this is where you're going to have your service panel. Uh, it's going to have two thumb screws. Uh, you may have to put a screwdriver in there to get it loose. This one wasn't too bad. Uh, so then this panel is going to pull off out of the way, and you're going to see a big, big old jumble of wires uh, in here. And don't be alarmed. Don't get, don't get nervous. Uh, let's just go through it step by step. Now these silver terminals right here in the center uh, are the hookup to the thermostat. Uh, but let's just say you didn't know anything about this panel. You pull off, uh, you know, the service panel here. You should see a, you know, wiring diagram. Uh, I'm going to look here for the, the connection diagram. So here you can see, you know, it tells you what all the various connections are on here. And here at the bottom, you can see right there, RCWIG. And the, uh, I saw the instruction book for the new thermostat. It goes over what each wire does. But now it is a good idea to kill the power to these things before you start working on them. And I, I flip my breaker outside. So you, you definitely want to kill the power. Uh, not that, not that these have a whole lot of voltage going through them, but you know, if the thing kicks on and it scares you and your screwdriver goes up and it taps something else, it's just, it's a mess that can easily be avoided. Okay, so I showed you how to get the covers off. Um, I'm, and I've got the covers off of both of mine. So now I'm going to, hopefully this will help you decrypt a little bit of what's going on if you have some of the same issues that I do. Uh, so you come up here and you look and you're like, oh, this already has something hooked to the C, the C terminal up here. It's a red wire. This one over here has something already hooked to the C terminal, and it's a green wire coming out of the bottom of there. Uh, well, you know, don't get confused. You really need to know which one of these units goes to which one of your thermostats. Uh, I found out which one it was because the, my thermostat downstairs had a had a blue, orange, black, and brown wire hanging out of it that weren't connected to anything. And if you look right here, we have blue, orange, black, and brown wires that aren't connected to anything. Then you've got, on the other side of it, we've got uh, red, white, yellow, and green that are coming out of that cable sheath, and then they go into this terminal block. So there's another smaller cable here, and it has a green and looks like white wire coming out of it that are hooked into here. I, I'm no HVAC guy again, but I, this this wire here, I think, probably goes to my uh, outdoor unit, the AC condensers, because there are wires coming out of the house that look very uh, similar to this. And I'll go outside and verify that in a minute. But I have a feeling this is probably sending some sort of control to that outdoor unit. In fact, if it isn't, I don't know what that other, I don't know how that outdoor unit would be controlled. So it has to be that, actually. So you've got one, the one cable here is a set of wires to your thermostat, and then this runs uh, remote, probably on and off to your, your outdoor AC condensers. So what we still need to do here, so I've got four wire on this unit here, I've got four wires I could choose from. Uh, I'm just gonna take probably, well, I don't know, uh, C wire, let's go with orange, you know, vitamin C, uh, on this one. I'm gonna hook this up to the C block on here. And then on this one, we've got slightly different colors to work with. Why, I don't know. Uh, this set of wires here, this red and white, this is the one, this is the cable that I'm pretty sure goes to my outdoor unit. This one here, uh, again, you can see uh, red, white, yellow, and blue. And these are all wired into this block. So my upstairs thermostat 
only has one green wire that isn't connected to anything instead of the four like I have downstairs. So I know this green wire, I'm going to attach it to my C terminal and that's going to run my power from my new thermostat. So hopefully, you know, you're able to decrypt, if you've got two anyway, you're able to decrypt uh, which one is which uh, without having to run your, your multimeter. I got it out, didn't even need to use it because um, I could see the wiring was different. Um, if you've only got one unit and you still see a, uh, a something on your C terminal here, it's probably powering something else. So you can put two wires on there. In fact, you can see some of these terminals already have two on there. That's okay. We just It's a very low draw, 24 volts down to power our new, um, our new uh, thermostat. And that's what I'm going to do.